So we made it to Grand Meridian at Grand Lake, Oklahoma, and the lake's off over there. We're not on the lake, but um, we're close to my my family, so that's that's the main thing we wanted to do here: is stay at this RV park close to family. And uh, uh, we're pretty much set up now. Other than the inside, we're set up on the outside, and uh, pretty much good to go. just left Grand Meridian and it's a really nice RV park um, 
not too exciting on the off season. Um, it's more of a summertime lake place, but uh, good, good place to stay for Christmas and pretty close to the parents. Um, celebrated Christmas at their place and now we're hitting the road. Uh, we're traveling from the Grand Lake area to uh, Hayes, Kansas. And it's about, uh, probably about a seven hour drive with the truck and trailer. We're gonna lay over there in the fairgrounds tonight and um, wake up in the morning and do the rest of the drive on to uh, Colorado. It's, uh, it's nice that we're traveling on a 50 degree day. So uh, we have three hours and 17 minutes left. Uh, we're at a little rest stop here and um, we filled with propane and uh, fueled up in Oklahoma where uh, diesel was cheaper and uh, making our way to Hayes. Stop number seven, unplanned number seven. Um, the Hayes spot we were gonna use was absolutely no overnight parking. We decided to keep going on to Oakley. And we, we got fuel and we're gonna stay in an RV park tonight. So that'll be stop number eight. the road in the morning but uh, let's get on over to the RV spot Hey guys, haven't picked up the camera much. Been doing a lot of family time, but uh, had a lot of issues here in Colorado. We're in Loveland, Colorado, packing up right now, getting ready to head to Western Kansas. And that Arctic freeze hit. And the trailer was in Nebraska getting a new lift kit. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we lifted it three inches, put those new axles on. But uh, we hit a bunch of blizzards a lot of issues out there in nebraska delayed our trip by a week and now we're heading to western kansas where there's like 14 inches of snow so um the weather's nice today so i'm not too worried about the roads but uh we are going to a place where there's like barely any snow coverage it's going to be like high 50s today and where we're going there's 14 inches and like 38 37 today so uh, we're getting ready to hit the road and get out of here very quickly. And I'll, I'll give you guys an update in the future on our new trailer lift. Uh, made such a huge difference. We have so much better ground clearance, better ways to hook up to the truck here that it doesn't make it uh, tilted so much. So, yeah, pretty happy with it so far. Um, but I'll give you guys more of an update in the future. And hopefully we don't blow out any tires anymore.
pesos. Straight back. Keep coming. Straight back. Straight back. Slow down, slow down. Keep coming. Keep coming. Slow down, slow down. Keep coming. Stop. Today we're chilling on Ray Roberts Lake, north of Dallas. Um, and for those of you who've been subscribed to the channel for a while, we've stayed here once before. It's the Ray Roberts Lake Park Isle de Beau, equestrian campground. Um, we stayed here about two years ago. We liked it so much we decided to come back. Uh, last time we did it, it was only an overnight stay. Uh, this time we're gonna stay a week and just kind of relax and do some trail riding and test out my new solar generator. Uh, which you guys haven't seen yet. We opted out to have uh, no power hookups. Um, so I've been testing out the solar generator this week and um, so far so good. So let me go show you that. First time putting up my solar panels, kind of jerry-rigged on the side of the trailer right here, but it's working and um, it's almost enough solar panels to power a huge computer setup and the Starlink so been pretty happy with that in the back here ignore the pool noodles we've been dealing with winter there in the back I have this solar generator set up um, right now uh, there's not enough sun out but we're losing negative 5.5 amps but we're roughly at 81 percent right off this inverter here um that's our solar charger and that's the power coming in from the panels right here but um yeah so far so good um i've found out the hard way that i do have the wrong inverter so I'll probably upgrade that one day. Um, not sure when, but um, I'm gonna use that one in the meantime, but I need to get me a, a different kind of inverter and I'll explain that more in a different video. But uh, as of right now, all I have is three, it's kind of a mess in there, but I have three 100 amp hour batteries and I got a 50 amp one on the side. I haven't really decided if I'm gonna hook that one up yet, but um, Unfortunately, uh, this was like the best uh, toolbox I could find to kind of fit everything. Um, and plus it'll allow me to put like another 100 amp battery in there, which I'm probably gonna do in the future. But um, it's been a lot of trial and error since we've been here, but uh, it's working pretty good. Um, I'm starting to figure it out. And yeah, I mean, I, I don't know much about solar, so I've just been kind of teaching myself and trying this out, and it's been working great. And um, It's kind of been cloudy this week, so we've occasionally had to kick on the generator and charge it up. Um, but I'm probably going to need a few more solar panels. So, yeah, it's a work in progress. So we've been traveling a lot over the holidays. Um, we've been to... Uh, Kansas, Oklahoma, Colorado, and Kansas again. Finally, we're heading down south to where we can warm up and uh, get out of that cold weather because uh, we had to deal with the Arctic blast that hit the US and that wasn't very fun. Tonight, a brutal Arctic blast sweeping across much of the country, bringing dangerous wind chills from the plains to the Midwest. Anyways, come along 
and enjoy this week with us. Good. Uh oh. We're going seven and a half, seven, three miles per hour. I got Harmony up to 11 yes, or two days ago. Oh my gosh, it's mud. Oh my gosh. That was scary. There's more. There's more. You poor pony. Come on. Good girl. Squirrel. Oh, it went inside there? <laughs> That's where I went the other day. That's just fine. Did that scare you? Probably. Ate the bark off the tree. All these trees. There's some cuts right there.
Guys, we've made it to our Texas destination, which is outside of San Antonio in the hill country. And this is where we like to come and uh, get warm and get away from the north for the winter. So while we're here, we, we compete in a few field trials that are actually held on these grounds. Very nice place here. We do a lot of winter training and we call this place winter camp and we get ready for the uh, spring field trial season, which we're going to uh, hit a lot of field trials, including the ones here. So uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for that. We're gonna be traveling all over the country competing in field trials this spring, so you're not gonna wanna miss that. So as always, make sure to like this video. That really does help, um, so please hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe for more upcoming videos. And as always, remember to get outdoors and keep trucking. I'll catch you guys on the next Red Bird Outdoors episode.